So it wasn't a screamer horde, but it was a roaming horde. Oh, is that not a roaming horde or? All right. Sounds good to me. There we go. We do not have a lot of stamina, so we're going to use our bow. And we got to get him dead before nighttime, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for 7 Days to Die Hard Vanilla Alpha 17. Hells yeah, guys. Do you have your tickets for the hype train? Yes, it's always the hype train. It's the hype train 24-7 here, guys. All right, I've done a little bit of work off camera. Actually, I've done a lot of work off camera, as you can tell. Um, <laughs> I went ahead and made a bunch of storage chests. I'll just show you really quickly. You guys can kind of pause the video if you want to see what's in what box. This is just a quickie look really quick building stuff. Uh, we've got clothes and armor. We've got books, paper, and mods. We've got tools. We've got miscellaneous. And we've got a drop chest. So when I come back, I can just drop stuff in there. This is my food. Um, right up here, I did. I had a battery bank. Remember, I think I got in some loot. And I happen to have a battery. So I got the battery bank and the loot. I also moved it to a... I, I'm going through an electric timer relay. So at 8 o'clock in the morning, that should go off. Uh, let's see if we can turn it off now. Um, so, okay, so it's not so bad there. Um, I think I'm going to change this. I'll show you how this works, right? The start time is 1600 and the end time when it goes off will be 7 o'clock in the morning. And we've got just a couple simple lights up there so I can get rid of all the, the, the candles and all that stuff. And that is awesome. I made a bunch of shotgun shells today. We are going to, uh, we're going to go rent some cars. And I'm also, I'm going to come up here to rent some cars. I don't know how many cars are up here. Oh, that's a screamer. I don't know how many cars are up here, but I am going to come up here to wrench cars because I would like to hit the, um, not the drop chest, but the, uh, uh, the bear den and do some work with the chemistry station. I'm going to take a bunch of murky water. I've got to get more murky water. Actually, where can I get murky water? Should I get it on the way there or is there murky water up here? There's murky water up here, but I think I'll get some on the way there. There we go. We'll get some water on the way up there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook a bunch of bones into glue. Um, we don't need these on us. We'll just throw these in the drop chest right here. Uh, we'll throw that in the drop chest too. I do have some plenty of water, plenty of food. I think we're good to go. Um, let's get going. All right. Now we need to avoid the screamer. Now someone said the screamer will be able to hear me. Yeah. Yeah, the screamer can't hear me. So this uh, screamer walkway is doing its job. And that is awesome. So we need some gas too. Uh, well, we have some gas. Let's go ahead and put some gas in that bad boy. And let's go ahead and drive off. Off into the sunset. Now, will she see me there? She did not see me there. So that's great. The screamer walkway. A lot of people thought I was wasting my time with the screamer walkway. And I don't know. Maybe, maybe I was. But I don't know. I think it's going to come in handy. I like to build. And not everything I build is going to have immediate, like, game break, game changing you know, application. Some things I just build just for the heck of it. And I think that screamer, I think that screamer entrance is going to actually really help. I mean, it, it just helped me get out of there without getting seen. Although if I got, if I got seen, it wouldn't have mattered because I could have just drove off, uh, driven off and it wouldn't have mattered. But still, you know, if I come back and there's some screamers there, it will help. And it didn't take me, it took me like one episode and I'll build the rest of it off camera. So um, I like to build guys, you know, and sometimes I build stuff that isn't really needed, but I do it just for the, just for the fun of it. It's just the way I roll. All right, so let's do uh, no right here. That looks good, and let's get going. Okay, so what else did I do um, off camera? Actually, this one wasn't off camera. I did this during the stream. I went ahead to my base and I dug out the floor underneath um, the second tower that didn't have any uh, any you know serious foundation underneath it, and I went ahead and replaced it and then upgraded it to cobblestone. And um, I've got almost the entirety of the two tower base set up. Basically, I've got the foundation laid for the entire thing now, uh, which is really good. Um, we have two more days of building. Uh, this, this today won't be a big day of building. What I want to do is I want to rent some cars because I want to get some. Um, I want to get some engines, and I would like really to get the shotgun turret set up. Uh, that's going to be my, num my, num my number one concern is to get the shotgun turret set up. Now, I also would like to make two more towers. Okay, am I going to make the two towers? Uh, the two additional towers. I feel like I'm talking about a, an RR, not RR talking, but wait, RR, yeah, RR talking. I always get my RRs mixed up because now there's uh, the Game of Thrones dude. But anyway, um, yeah, it's not, it doesn't have to do with Middle Earth is what I'm trying to say. And uh, yeah, we're going to get two more towers set up. Uh, that should be pretty cool. Um, are we going to get that done by day 20? I don't know. Here's the thing. I'm not going to ever 
Um, and now I'm like, I shouldn't say ever. Never say never. But I'm my plan is to not build towers on dirt anymore. I don't like towers on dirt. So, um, the, the cops don't really do as much damage to dirt as they used to. And it's not really a big deal as far as like structural integrity goes that much. But um, the fact is, I just like having cobblestone down. I think it makes me it makes me sleep better at night. I think it looks better. And I just like to use the cobblestone. So um, I will be putting the cobblestone down from now on. And, uh, you know, but I want to do that before I build the towers. Because putting it in after the towers is kind of annoying. Um, so, yeah. Uh, oh, I forgot about this drop chest. Is there anything in there I really need? Yeah, there is. Oh, more bones for one. There we go. Okay. Wait. Why isn't that stacking with the other... There we go. Alright, so let's come on in here and let's try and be... Si ah, whatever. We could just kill stuff. Whatever. We need the experience anyway. Yep, there he is. I knew, I knew it. I knew it. Come on over here and take your medicine. Come on. Get over here and take your medicine. Alright, who's next? Oh. Alright, you're next. I don't think this whole place is respawn now. Oh, level 64. Cool. Oh! Scared the crap out of me, bro. Man, make yourself known next time. Jeebus. Alright, so it doesn't look like anything down here has respawned. Right? Let's get rid of this. You gonna be okay down here? I don't know. I don't like having my back to stuff. Alright, so, um, glue. Uh, 124. Why is it only 124? Uh, because of the bones. The bones are, okay, fair enough. I don't think you could use bones for anything else, so that's great. And we will also do gunpowder. And that's going to be... It. Whoa, 10 minutes for 714 gunpowder? Wow, okay. So that's about 17 minutes total. We'll go a little bit long just to make sure. And that's great. Let's get out of here. All right, guys. We're going to check the old junkyard for some cars. I already seen some cars in there. Quite a few cars. So I think this is our best bet. Um, for the area, at least. So I'm going to go in a little bit noisy, though. Because I really don't want to be surprised. I think I came in here and killed stuff. At one point, but I don't know. They might have respawned, so. We're going to be very, very careful. There we go. There they are. Come on out. Come on out, guys. Don't blow up that car. Don't you dare hit that car. These uh, zombies can easily blow up cars. So, you do not want that to happen. Also, people tell me to check trash. Check every trash pack. Uh, check every piece of trash for glue and duct tape. Well, there's five oil, so already the trash was a good idea. So, yeah. But I don't know if I really want to go through trash on camera. Like, that's just like, you know, one trash pile, pile after the other. I think I'll I think I'll think loot the trash off camera. I try not to loot anything off camera, but... With the trash being so important, but also so boring... <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to loot that off camera. Alright, let's take apart some cars. Right, and my perk for this salvage operations is three of five. I do have three skill points. We'll go over those at night, though. I don't like doing my skill points during the day. I like to really, really sit there and study the skill points. Because if you don't take them at the right times, you could really screw yourself over. Like, on my multiplayer server, um, I was the first one on the server to hit 20, and I didn't have enough points uh, to get what I needed to make iron tools, which was a, a big mistake. Okay, so let's get some engines, shall we? Come on, give me some engines. Give me the engines. I need the engines. Come on. Nope, not getting much of anything. Oh, we got some oil. Oh, we got a battery. Battery's cool. Battery's cool. The battery bank's not bad. Battery bank's not bad. That's a lot of bees. Bees for days. Come on. Nope, I don't see any engines. Ah, oh, what a bummer. I'm sure we'll get one. All right, guys. I'm convinced. Trash is the bomb. Um, I'm really, I'm really happy with what I'm getting from trash. I'm getting oil, I'm getting duct tape, I'm getting glue, and I'm getting, um, uh, oil. I, I said oil already. What was I said? Oil, glue, duct tape, and there was something else I'm getting from trash. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of trash. I'm a fan of the trash. I'm gonna, ah, oh, forged iron. No, oh, whatever. Anyway, yeah, I'm a big fan of the trash. I'm gonna start, um, 
I'm gonna start picking it up every chance I get. Eh, I'll do that off camera. It's gonna take too long. All right, let's go ahead and do some looting in here. Uh, we can get this for some plastic or some polymer, as it's called now. Yeah, the trash. Woo, boy. I think there's a um, I think there's a safe in this place too. I might grab, might grab it. I I can't leave. I can't not. I can't stop taking apart cars until I get an engine. So we might have to just maybe kind of concentrate on getting an engine first. You know, so uh, that's concrete. I'm not breaking through that. Uh, well, that's garbage. And that's garbage. Come on, trash. You're making me look bad. I just stuck up for you. Ugh. I mean, well, I'm, I mean, I'm making some, but it's still three, three, three gunpowders. Like, eh, what else? All right. Okay, we got some gas. Come on, trash. I just said how good you were, trash, and now you're freaking giving me garbage. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting garbage in the trash. Oh, this isn't where I want to be. Got to come down here. I guess we got to break in here. I think I think they broke out from over there anyway. But, so I probably don't have to break in this way, but I'm going to. Because, I don't know. I don't feel like running around. Yep, see, they did break out. Anybody over here? Anybody around here? All right. Ah, someone broke out of here. Okay. I think we're going to break into that gun safe. Let's see if there's anything else to loot, though, before we do that. Okay. Man, I am freaking full. Well, I'm about to get fuller. Okay. Let's go drop this stuff off. They'll break into the gun safe. Hey, right, guys. About to break into the gun safe. Check out, check out what I found, though. Just in a regular loot container. Nerdy glasses, baby. Experience gain. Let's go ahead and put those on. All right, now I'm a nerd. Okay, so what do you... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That is a lot of stuff. Okay, so putting the nerdy glasses on means I'm going to lose Lucky Looter and Salvage Operations, which is a real problem for me. Now, do I want to spend these two points for that extra 10% experience bonus? Uh, maybe. Can I get Can I get them, actually? Uh, I don't know what level... I'm pretty sure I can. There we go. One, one point. Okay. Yeah, that's worth it. And plus, it gave me more uh, increased... Uh, range weapon damage. So yeah, that was worth it. Now we got, uh, still got two more points left, and now we're going to get the 10% experience bonus. That is wonderful. Uh, do I want to buy all this stuff? I kind of do, but I don't have time for that right now. We need to get a freaking engine, man. I can't believe I got one yet. Um, we took apart a good amount of cars in here. Um, do I want to keep steel crossbow bolts? I don't think I'm ever going to use them. I was thinking about maybe using the crossbow on Horde Knight because it, you don't need the mobility. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll hold on to it. Maybe we'll switch to the crossbow for Horde Knights at some point. I don't know about this Horde Knight, but at some point we might do that. All right, so where can we find some more vehicles? All right, guys, I finally got myself an engine, and I have everything I think I'm going to need to set up a shotgun turret at the Horde base. We'll have to see. Um, I also have to figure out, and I've figured out soon because I'm about to put it down. <laughs> I have to figure out exactly how I want to do the shotgun turret. Do I want to like set it down when the horde starts or do I want to just have it on one side and just hope that the horde comes from that side or maybe I can lead the horde over to that side. I'm not really sure. But what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to go for an airdrop because I passed an airdrop on the way back here, which was freaking awesome. But um, I didn't have any room for it. So we're going to go get that airdrop. And then um, there's there's three ways I can deal with the shotgun turret. I can put it on one side and just hope that they come from that side or lead zombies to that side. Look at there's a car right here. Um, or I can wait until the till, till the hordes come and then put it down like as they're coming in, so I know which side they're going to be coming from. Or I could put it on the side but put it so uh, like pretty far back so that way it can cover multiple angles. Honestly, I kind of like the third way best. Um, if I can cover, like, half of the horde base sides, then, you know, I could probably lead zombies over there. I don't really need the shotgun turret to be exactly on the side where the horde's coming from. I want it to help. I don't want it to do everything. Ah, that's a waste of freaking time. Um, yeah, that's... Ugh. I mean, it, I know that looks impressive. It's like, wow, that's a lot of good stuff. Yeah, it's all right, but um, food is not an issue. Uh, I actually heard... I hear the... Um, the infections bugs, even when you use antibiotics, they don't do anything, but I don't know that for a fact. Um, and also, uh, health kits are important. I guess it's all right. It's all right. I could have I done better. Well, actually, do I really need more guns? Maybe um, the way I could have done better was I could have uh, maybe got some bullets. Maybe ammo 
would probably be my number one concern right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, let's come on in here. Let's drop this stuff off and let's head out to the Horde base and do some work. Really quickly, before we go out to the Horde base, I'm going to wheel and deal with this guy a little bit. Um, just because he's going to restock tomorrow. So, uh, let's take a look at what he's got. Do I want more spotlights? Eh. Simple lights. Simple lights are pretty cheap. I don't even think I need to buy those, to be honest. Um, yeah. Uh, do I want to buy the 9mm rounds? I think I kind of do. Ah, boy. Never mind. I don't have any money. All right. Well, let's go ahead and sell this gun to him. And that'll help out a little bit. That's that's really expensive for those rounds. And I really don't love them. So we will buy the repair kit. And let's see what else he's got. Uh, I'm going to buy the paper. I'm going to buy the brass. Uh, I'm going to buy the duct tape. Electrical parts? Nah. I mean, I want the electrical parts, but I got to be careful. I'm down to 15,000 dukes. So I do have a treasure, though. I got a treasure in loot. So I'm going to I'm gonna go out for a treasure at some point, too. Uh, don't love any of that stuff. Don't care about that. That I probably want to buy. Um, I already have a generator. Um, auto turrets. Let's buy the paper. I'll probably buy those 7.62, right? Yeah, I think I will. Okay. Um, I already bought a generator. I can make a generator. I don't really need a generator. Ooh, shotgun turrets. Oh, beautiful. Uh, do I want to buy them both? I, if I buy them both, it breaks the bank. I think having two shotgun turrets for Horde Knight will be Thank plenty. You, uh, you know, plus it, the more shotgun turrets you have, the more you're going to go through the shotgun shells. And I don't have a ton of shotgun shells. So I think um, two shotgun turrets will be plenty. I think we can cover almost the whole Horde base with just two shotgun turrets. Um, unless I put another tower down. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do another tower. Um, you know what? I don't think I'm going to do another tower. We'll, we'll, we'll stick with the two towers, uh, for this Horde Knight. But for next Horde Knight, I want another two towers down. Um, I want four total towers, uh, for the day 35 Horde, for sure. So, alright. Where are we, man? Should be coming up any second now. Come on. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I think two will be, will be fine for this Horde Knight. All right, so let's see what we got going on here. Let me show you what I've been up to. So you can see right here, I just went ahead and uh, you can see the uh, the barbed wire fence a lot better. Well, the barbed wire a lot better. So that's nice. And while I was building here, I actually got a screamer horde uh, during stream. So uh, we do have to put some more flooring down here at some point. I guess I guess we might as well do that today. Um, yeah, yeah, we should probably do that today. I think that's got to be our next thing. Let's go up and drop some stuff off first. You know, I totally forgot to show you guys. Um, in between videos, when I was doing that um, that grinding session, right? Uh, I actually got a drop. Uh, you know, we had the Screamer Horde, and I actually got a drop. Check this out. I got... There it is. Military Vest, right? Yeah, it was cool. I was I was just, you know, on here grinding on stream. You know, just talking to people. Cause I love grinding on stream because I get to talk to everybody. And, like, it's just, like, it's a nice relaxed atmosphere. And we just kind of chat. And it's a really good time. And um, I got a screen reward. I might get another one, by the way. Um, it seems like do digging or doing any kind of building really calls them in. So, uh, you know, we have to be prepared for that. But, you know, it's just like, yeah, whatever. I'll kill them. Why not? Might as well kill the horde, you know. And um, I killed the horde and I, I got rewarded. So that is awesome. That is so cool. I love it. All right. So this is, this doesn't give me the angle I need, which is kind of a bummer. So we're going to have to just go to the sides for now. We'll kind of we'll kind of dig where we can. And uh, where we can't, we could probably get from the other side. Should not be too big of a deal. Another thing I did on stream is I did some testing. Okay. I did I did a testing. I did testing with four different situations. Okay. I took I took an iron tool. I made an iron pickaxe, a blue iron pickaxe, just for this uh, testing purposes. And I took the iron pickaxe and I took the steel pickaxe and I I, com I compared them, right? So um, what I came out with now, this is a very limited test. I did not do extensive testing. You know, this could have just been I don't know, a fluke, I don't know. But it seems to me, for my testing purposes, you guys can let me know, you know, if you're seeing the same thing. Um, oh, that broke out, didn't it? All right, that's fine. It seems to me that as you move up from iron to, to you know, to steel, you get um, actually less materials, right? Um, and and what I, another thing I notice is uh, you get less materials if you use power, power attacks. 
Now, we're not talking a lot of materials here. We're talking very, very small amounts. But I was getting more materials with iron, and I was getting even more materials when I would not use the power attack. Ah, that's a bummer. Um, yeah, so uh, power attack gave me less materials, but it was a very, very small difference of materials. Very small difference. And the power attack was way faster. Now, some would argue, as they did when I was doing this on stream, that time is a resource. So if you're taking a lot longer to get resources, but you're getting a couple more here and a couple more there, you're probably better off going a little faster and getting a little less. Now, boulders are a finite resource, okay? And as you mine boulders out, you have to go farther and farther out in the world to find more boulders. So I'm mining them faster with the power attack, but, but, god damn it. But I'm also getting a little bit less on a finite resource. So that's a good argument. I'm a, I'm an impatient person. I'm going to use the power attack. The The difference in resources was very, very small. Um, and, you know, I just can't take... It took a long time um, to mine them with the regular attack over the power attack. Now, the other, the other side of this argument is if you are, you know, early game, right? Maybe it would be better for you to use the, the iron tools because you don't have to worry so much about... Um, you don't have to worry so much about stamina. So, you know, iron tools are a lot easier on your stamina. But then again, steel tools swing slower. So they're also, even though they take more stamina per swing, they swing slower. So stamina is really not an issue for me. So that was that didn't really come into play. But yeah, um, I'm a big fan of just moving up in tools. I like the power attack and I want to move up in tools. But there's, you know, give and take to everything. And um, I found that to be uh, really interesting. Where the heck is my freaking nail gun? Are you kidding me, Cage? Oh, I can't believe I left my nail gun back at base. Well, actually, can you? Can you not believe it? Actually, I'd be surprised if I did remember it. All right. So one thing that sucks is you can't upgrade stuff that this, um, that this, uh, these, uh, whatever you call them, barbed wire is on. So that kind of sucks. So the, whatever the barbed wire is on is not going to be able to get upgraded. I should have upgraded before I put down more, um, more, you know, blocks behind it. I don't think I can do these either. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I need iron upgrade to uh, repair those as well. But that is not what today's... Oh, I can't dig out underneath here now. Oh, maybe I can. Yeah, you got to be careful when you put down what. Or else you could really screw yourself over. Like, this is... I'm thinking these uh, spikes will be okay because uh, they're against the wall. But this could have been... This could have been really bad. All right, well, we lucked out here. We're not going to be able to upgrade that, possibly. So let's just do it now. Let's try and pay a little bit of attention here. That would be wonderful. There we go. Okay, and now we'll dig out this way. All right, so the digging is kind of annoying, but at the same time, um, you know, I'm getting clay, So, and I need clay. So it doesn't make sense to go dig somewhere else, you know, um, like some pointless hole somewhere, <laughs> you know, because uh, I'm going to need clay. I'm going to need a lot of it. So this is actually uh, going to be very, very helpful. I think next episode is going to be all about bu uh, building up the walls of the base and getting those all situated. So um, I probably I might be able to get a good amount of the base to steal, as a matter of fact. Um, probably not all the base, but a, you know, a decent amount of it, which would be just wonderful. I'd like to get these floors done today, too, although I'm running out of time. All right, let's talk more work, Cage. All right. So, I can't do less talk because I'm a freaking content creator, let's player. I can't not talk. That's what, that's what I'm here for. All right, so let's go like that. We could probably get that from the other side as well. So we could put that right there. Let's upgrade it now. Go back to that one. Upgrade it now. Get out of this hole. And there we go. All right. Very good. All right, so we got to do this side and the other side. I don't know if it matters which side I do first. I guess I'll do this side first because I don't know why. Not. Oh, God, I just don't think about it, you know? Like, I'm getting to the point where I just ignore it, you know? It's like, whatever. I walked into the barbed wire again. What's new, right? I mean, what's the point? Why even talk about it? Like, I'm just going to do it anyway. So we want to make sure we upgrade the ones that are going to be un under the barbed wire first before we put down any more. So let's do that now while I'm thinking about it, while I'm talking about it. I've got a lot of ideas for bases, but I'm not going to get too crazy with them until Stable Branch. Because the last thing I need to do is, like, use up a good base idea and experimental and then have the game wiped, like, the next day or something or the next week. Like, what's the point? We've got a big update coming up this week anyway. 
Um, and I got to be careful how many videos ahead I get because I don't know if I'm going to have to restart. But, you know, there's a possibility I might have to restart this week. So that would not be cool. All right, so we're going to knock that out. Put this right here. And let's see how many cobble... Uh, we don't have a lot of cobblestone. All right, let's just make a lot of cobblestone. So it looks like we're out of stone now. So we're going to have to... We're gonna have to mine during the night. I don't like mining during the night because um, I keep getting zombies digging down to me, which is really irritating. But I might have to do some mining t during the night. Maybe I should go down to bedrock. The thing is, a lot of people are saying, Cage, go down to bedrock to mine during the night. And that's a that's really solid piece of advice. Um, the problem is the iron node that I'm trying to hit is not a bedrock. So I'm kind of stuck mining where I am. So kind of blows, but what are you gonna do? All right, if these fall, they fall. Not much I can do about it. I gotta... I got to I got to do what I got to do, right? There we go. And nope. Got to upgrade that first. There we go. Could always knock up that barbed wire and then upgrade those blocks, but nah, I don't I don't think it's that important. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come across here really quick. And we should probably rebuild this out of cobblestone right now. Is there any reason not to? Yeah, there is. It's cuz it's not that important. Um, I will actually if I dig underneath that's gonna fall so I will not dig underneath there um, If it gets knocked down on, on horde night, so be it Not the end of the world And if I get time I'll I'll, I'll you know replace it. I will replace it It's just you know like I said guys time is a resource in this game And um, you know sometimes things are just not worth doing or if they are worth doing you have to prioritize like yeah That's worth doing but in the priority list. It's it's kind of low, you know Shut up, timer. You don't tell me what to do. We're going to go long. People like long videos. They, haven't you heard? All right, so that might fall. Nope, not yet. Okay, so we're going to put that there. And then we're going to upgrade it. And then we're going to dig this one out. Yeah, we need, we're going to need to get that bar. I, we have barbed wire. I just got to, you know, bring it down. And I got. I, I have to, I have to like, do an inventory, you know, on what I have and what I need next. Because we're getting to crunch time here. Tomorrow's Horde Day. So we'll have one more video before Horde Night. Come on. There you go. Okay. All right. A uh, couple more over here, and I think we're done on this side. Well, we got to do that little patch right there. We should do that patch right there and finish this side up completely. And I thought I was going to be able to make another tower before Horde Night. What the hell was I thinking? Too much work to do, man. But you know what? A busy survivor is a happy survivor. All right, so that part's going to be hard to get to, but... Uh, yeah, you know what? That's going to have to come out. Come on with this freaking barbed wire. All right, so we got to use this to get on over there. And so be it. There we go. All right, well, let's just drop down here. Ah, that time I landed on a big spike. That hurt my bottom. Okay. There we go. See, guys, save yourself the hardship. Just put down the freaking foundation before you make stuff. I mean, really, this is just painful. You need the clay anyway. So. Oh, there's no barbed wire there. I could have just walked through there. Oh, well. What are you going to do? I just had a weird lag stutter thing and I'm worried about screamer spawning I think we're just about done here anyway um, I didn't get nearly as much done as I wanted to though oh, crap and I just put stuff over I might not be able to oh cool I can, I can get within there very good all right all right uh, let's upgrade this one or er, repair that it looks like garbage all right so we got a good amount over here I should really leave I'm really pushing my luck here but that's all right Home is pretty close, so it's not like, you know. Home is not that far away, so I can get home pretty quickly if I need to. And I can get home really quickly if I get killed. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just worried about the uh, Screamers. Because I'm telling you, man, the Screamer hordes are no joke. No joke at all. Not at my game stage. What's my game stage? 129. Is that high? I don't know. Unless I might have Screamer horde. Um, actually, I had the, the Screamer horde, I... Oh, I knew it. I knew it. So it wasn't a Screamer Horde, but it was a Roaming Horde. Uh, I guess we got to get some experience, huh? Yeah. 
We need some experience. Let's get him. Oh, is that not a roaming horde? Or... Yeah, I can hear the rest. There they are. All right. Sounds good to me. There we go. We do not have a lot of stamina, so we're going to use our bow. And we got to get him dead before nighttime, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Finish it up with a little bit of action. Why not? Okay. Die already, man. I also got the nerd glasses, so that's going to make this a lot more fun. There we go. 65. I knew something spawned, man. I felt that lag, you know? That, like, stuttering. Okay. You die. You die. Oh, don't hit me, bro. Stop hitting me. Okay. Let's keep that experience train running if we can. Nah, we lost it. Darn it. You're not dead. Oh, you are dead. Okay. Okay. What's up? You guys nice and softened up after walking over my uh, barbed wire? Beautiful. Beautiful. Bunch of experience there. That is wonderful. Well, let's, let's keep going now with it. Oops. I'd like to finish up this one last part and then call it a video. Okay. Should be able to upgrade those okay. Should not be a problem. We should be able to upgrade these uh, just fine. That will be upgradable. Yes, it will. Um, these won't be easily upgraded. So we do have to upgrade those before we put more down. So let's try and remember that, Cage. No promises. Okay, so we're going to put one in there. All right, well, that one fell. Upgrade. Upgrade. There we go. All right, and we can upgrade the rest tomorrow. Um, oh, I probably should have left it there to get out or well, whatever. So yeah, this looks, um, it's just about done. We just have to do a couple more spots. And honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I think we got to do a couple more spots tomorrow. Should not be a problem. First thing I want to do when I get here tomorrow is uh, I want these towers to be 100% reinforced concrete. And we have to do that right away because they need time to dry. As a matter of fact, let's do that now. As long as we don't dig anymore, I'm hoping, well, I'm sure upgrading, uh, raises heat for the screamers as well but that's all right let's get this done because i want these to dry today because you have to go to concrete and then reinforce concrete and i really want these to be done today okay there we go do i have steel on me i do crap we gotta get the steel off us my motorcycle down where's my motorcycle there it is. I left it over here. I was getting a little nervous there. Getting a little nervous. Right, let's put this away so we don't accidentally use it. We just got a little lag spike again, so now I'm really worried about screamers. But we'll see what's what. Okay, we could do the we could do the top one from up top, so that won't be a problem. Let's just get the the danger ones done first. Okay, get on over there. Oh boy, come on, Cage! I really want to get this done. We're going long, but I don't want to. I don't want to stop the video because you know, I don't know. It's nighttime, and you know, we're going long. All right, over here. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? We don't have enough time to do all this. I'm, I'm going to have to... Do I really want to take a chance here with a screamer coming with nighttime? Because this is going to take us right to nighttime. There's no doubt about it.
Well, guys, I got most of it done, but I ran out of stone. Um, actually, I ran out of stone in order to make cobblestone. I probably have some stone back at base, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call it here. But we'll we'll as soon as we get out of here, the first thing we'll do is work on getting everything up to reinforce concrete. After that, we will finish. You know, I don't even know if I'm gonna finish the ground. I might just put out the spikes and just and just call it done for now, um, because the ground takes quite a long time. You know, uh, so I'm probably just gonna lay out the defenses. I, I don't like. I don't like putting myself on Horde Knight right up to the, like, you know, right up to the, you know, right up against it to where I'm not getting stuff done in time. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, you know, reinforce concrete, spikes, barbed wire, and um, set up those uh, shotgun turrets. I think that will be fine. And uh, then we'll be doing a Horde Knight. So it should be a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then... Take it easy.